Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles, and today I have this absolutely gorgeous Carmate 6x12 Vino's trailer. And like typical with our projects, I think we got a little carried away and went a little too far on it. What started out as just a repaint, we ended up doing a full refurbish on this unit. And uh, when we do things right, we restore bikes for the New England Motorcycle Museum. We usually go a little too far. Starting with the paint, we strip the, the, the whole trailer down and put a, a, a self-etching primer on there, two coats of it. And uh, let me just read off the sheet here. Um, we, we, we prepped the complete trailer with an industrial cleaning acid on all the aluminum, the galvanized door hardware, and the diamond tread plating. And we put two coats of high quality PPG primer on it, then two coats of a high bond PPG acrylic enamel, bright Daytona white paint was applied. And on top of that, three coats of a PPG, PPG clear coat finished top coat. Uh, so that's it's got a total of uh, seven coats on here. So the factory coats when you get on one of these trailers is just, just like a, the bare minimum. This is a high quality seven coat paint job on here. It's gonna last a long, long time. On top of the paint job, we applied the fresh OEM factory decals. The Carmate, these are right from the factory, all, all the factory decals. Um, it has the uh, PPG um, exceptional paint finish logo on there. It has the NATM compliance logos on the side and all of the uh, factory caution lug nut logos and everything on there. Um, so the paint job on aluminum is uh, all fresh, brand new, and perfect, and uh, it looks really sharp. We also put the, put the uh, American flag uh, graphics on it, and also a, a red, white, and black pinstripe all the way around the side, so the trailer really pops, as you can see in the pictures and the videos. Uh, the, the, the entire metal substructure of the, of the trailer was also sanded down with a two tw uh, 220 grit, then a 320 grit, and then the frame was prepped with a self-etching primer and a two-stage high-performance rust-proofing paint was applied to the entire frame and undercarriage. So the entire metal substructure is completely rust-proof and there's a brand new paint job on the body. Uh, start, on the interior, we put three coats of the white, high-gloss white reflective paint applied to the walls. Uh, so it has a really bright look inside. Um, the door lock, the, uh, uh, we also put two coats of the flat black applied to the floor, which stays, you know, it's easy to, easy to keep clean. And we put six brand new tie downs, which are hung on the wall in the custom rack, which you can see. Come on inside, I'll show you. There's, uh, I'm six foot two. This trailer has the extra height at six foot six, so I can stand up inside of it. This, this is the uh, rack that we put on here, the stainless steel uh, rack with six brand new Bike Master tie downs. Uh, so the bikes, the trailer is completely set up to haul three bikes. Um, the uh, um, spare tire rack was installed on the side here, so it has a uh, spare tire. That's that's the original tire that came with the trailer. Just showing you how low miles this trailer actually has. Probably has less than, than 5,000 miles on it. Um, the uh, uh, spare. The uh, we also have an LED mag light flashlight here mounted on the wall, and um, we have this coat and gear rack installed up in the top here, so you can hang your coat or, or your riding gear off of it. There's a, a brand new uh, broom mounted with a dustpan mounted on the wall, and also a uh, heavy duty industrial tote to put your riding gear or uh, whatever else inside of it. We also put on the front here, we put um, six tie down hooks for the three bike uh, racks in here. And there's also uh, from the factory, it originally had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so a total of 15 tie downs on the floor here. Um, you know, if you price out at a dealership what it costs to set it up like this, you're going to find it's very expensive because it's time consuming. It's, a, it's an eight hour day to set up the inside of a trailer like this. Um, and it's a lot of work. This, this one also has, this trailer also has the uh, camper style screen vent. So if you want to camp out inside here, you can. My son and I went to Daytona for a week this year in, in my enclosed trailer. All you do is you put a mattress on the floor and he had a cot and we slept inside of it and we, at the racetrack, which had a shower. So we had a great time. It didn't cost us anything. We, sa we saved enough to pay for the trailer uh, on a 10 day trip to Daytona. The, the flashlight that's mounted in here is an, an, an LED mag light that's included, the rack and the flashlight. So the inside of the trailer is basically in, uh, in brand new condition and uh, <clears throat> it's uh, you know pretty much perfect top to bottom. It's fully customized, all set up for three bikes. So that's the inside of the trailer. Um, one of the things I want to point out about this trailer, this has the barn doors, which if you're a racer, much, much preferred. The drop ramp door leaves you no place to sit to put your, your boots and riding ground. With the uh, barn doors, you, can, you have room for three people to sit here to have your lunch with a cooler uh, by our side. Um, the ramp is aluminum. The ramp is included. Uh, this will haul, 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 haul a Harley full dresser up it, no problem. 
or a dirt bike or whatever, and that you just slide inside the trailer. But the reason why I say the barn doors are much better is you can hang uh, um, uh, shelves off of these or uh, goggle racks or um, cleaning supply racks that are readily available online, aluminum racks that you mount on the door, and you can put all your cleaning supplies and hang things off of the doors, and there's two of them to do that with. So uh, the inside of the trailer is just beautiful. One thing I want to point out, this is a six by 12 trailer, but it has a 13 foot six inch inside uh, uh, from the nose to the back, so you've got an extra foot and a half over most six by 12s. And on a five by 10, we have a five by 10 in stock too. The five by 10, you got an additional three and a half feet, which is just a huge. You could, uh, you could pretty much put two dirt bikes back to back in here. So if you wanted to put more than three dirt bikes in here, absolutely you can. It's very easy to do. So let's close up the side doors here and uh, I'll show you the back of the trailer. Um, the sides have these uh, uh, um, stainless steel pull down latches, which are really nice. This is, this is a car mate trailer. If you know anything about trailers, uh, the Pace uh, pretty much goes Hallmark, Pace, and then CarMate's at the top of the line for the for the real decent trailers. I mean, there's there's a lot of small manufacturers that make cheesy trailers uh, down south that aren't built to the, the standards of a CarMate. Uh, this is one step below a Featherlight, but it's probably the the nicest, in my opinion, the nicest. Um, uh, steel frame trailer. It's not an all aluminum trailer, so the feather light uh, uh, would be a step up from this. But this is a top of the line in uh, in uh, uh, regular steel frame trailers. Uh, the door hinges have uh, both been painted with that that uh, rust proof paint. The uh, the lights have a black finish around them with the stainless steel bolts in there. Um, comes with the uh, the uh, matching locks for the side and the and the uh, both sides. And there's also a tongue lock, so it comes with three locks. It's already set up with not only the tie downs. The um, bike racks, the the uh, the broom, the spare tire, uh, everything you need is inside the trailer to haul your bikes, and it's got the th the three locks on the outside. So when you get to the track, if you have to leave it overnight, um, you can and you let's say you're going to a hotel and you're not sleeping in the trailer, you can lock the tongue on it so that no one can steal the trailer. Um, the like I said, it's got brand new graphics on it from CarMate all the way around. Those are the factory graphics, uh, made in the USA. Um, so back door looks brand new. It's just beautiful. No issues there. The uh, uh, fenders have two coats of Duplicolor on there. They were sanded, uh, primed, and painted. And it has two brand new mag aluminum seats. Still has the uh, uh, still has the stickers from the factory on it. Lightweight aluminum mag wheels. And I upgraded to stainless steel lug nuts on here and a stainless steel center cap. It pops right out, and your grease fittings right there. Super easy to service. And these are brand new Rainier. A Mount Rainier 20575 R15 sport truck tires. So they're nice heavy duty tires. Um, they're steel belted radials uh, and they're brand, brand new. Uh, side door, get another view into the side door. It's an extra wide side door. I'm six foot two, I can walk right in there, no problem. Don't have to worry about hitting your head. All the tie downs are installed. Um, you've got your six tie downs with it. You've got your uh, utility box. You're pretty much ready to go. Just put your bikes in and send it to the track or wherever you're going. Laconia, Daytona, Sturgis, here you come. So uh, that's it for the interior of the trailer. Um, <clears throat> and again, it comes with a lock on the side door. These are keyed the same, the, the, these two locks are keyed the same, so you only have one lock for one, one key required. And then there's a lock on the uh, tongue also. Um, all the lights work perfectly. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything on the inside of it. And um, again, stainless steel lug nuts and the black fender and black rims with aluminum. This looks really sharp. So uh, I also have the title to the, to the trailer right here. So it's fully titled. Um, it's over uh, 990 pounds, so requires uh, a, a title. If they're under 990, I have a five by 10. They're not, they don't require titles. So I have the title in hand. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's custom. Custom paint, custom wheels, custom stripes, the interior is completely customized. And if you stand back, you can see the, the uh, vent on the roof. Show them the vent on the roof, Kenny. That's a smoke black uh, roof vent. So this is perfect for race, race bikes, uh, dirt, dirt bikes or street bikes, camping or adventure ready. Again, clear title, fully loaded, ready to handle weekends of fun. It needs nothing. It's 100% ready to go for three bikes in gear. Just hook it up and send it. <coughs>
<coughs> we had, we added up our hours here and we thought uh, we'd get it done in a, in a couple few days but ended up taking an entire week um, our lead mechanic Willie <coughs> and myself worked on it he had 39 hours into it I probably had a few hours but we didn't add that in that was just you know my management time working with him picking out colors and wheels and um, the different ordering the different parts for the bikes and the tie downs and it takes time to hook up a trailer like this but it was a full week 40 hours so we charge eighty dollars an hour that's thirty two hundred dollars in labor um and then of course uh, there's over 500 in materials between paint and sandpaper and uh the clear coat and the, the graphics kit and the tie down so um it's, it's a lot of money invested in if you bought a trailer to us like this and said do exactly what you did to this trailer you'd be looking at a $3,500 bill. So basically you're paying for the trailer and getting the, I mean, you're paying for the, the work we did and you're getting the trailer for free. Uh, fantastic trailer by one of the best manufacturers in the business. If you have any questions about it, give me a call at 860-454-7024. We're over here six days a week. If you want to come take a look at it, have a mechanic look at it, hook it up to your trailer, or truck, hook it up to your truck, try it out, whatever you want to do. Um, all proceeds from the sale are going to funding the New England Motorcycle Museum 5013C nonprofit motorcycle museum that's being constructed in Rockville here so uh, money's going to a good cause uh, good luck bidding and God bless